everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. These are our dogs, Zephyr and Monty, and we are... Zephyr's Travels. This week, we left Virgin, Utah, where we've been staying for the last two months, and we're heading to a new state. Nevada. Where we're going to go to Valley of Fire State Park. And stay there for a few days. We've never been here, but a lot of people have talked about it and told us good things, so we thought we'd give it a try once we get back on the road. Yep. So, come along on our adventure. This trail is known as Mouse's Tank Trail, and the story is that a Native American named Mouse hid out here when he was wanted by the law for six months, and there's supposedly a what they call a tank, but it's an area that will gather water and allowed him to survive for six months undetected out here in the desert. out there can decode petroglyph you know leave a comment in the comments below and tell us what that says this was a relatively easy hike to do basically just you know about a half mile back yeah not very long or very hard of a no pretty level high. a few few rocks yeah. to kind of step over but not much right yeah and very scenic yeah yeah exactly That must be the, where the water gathers down there, the tank. Oh. Valley of Fire is Nevada's first state park. It's about 40,000 acres of bright red Aztec sandstone outcroppings nestled in a valley of gray and tan limestone. The park contains ancient petrified folk trees and petroglyphs dating back more than 2,000 years. A visitor center provides exhibits on the geology, ecology, prehistory, and history of the park in nearby region. We're standing in the area of Valley of Fire State Park known as the Beehives. Now these rocks behind us here get their shape because of the way the soil is compacted and the effects of the wind over time. Nevada state parks are all first come first serve and so to get a campsite you really need to plan ahead a little bit and try to get in there early in the day especially if you want one of the few campsites with electricity. We, we got there about 11 o'clock, drove around the campground a couple of times and got lucky and found a campsite that someone just vacated that no one else has claimed already. That had electric. The campsites of Valley Fire were laid out a little bit odd. Mm -hmm. And that the electric was on our, our side, the electric was on the wrong side, and the picnic area was on the wrong side. So we had to run the cord all the way around to the outlet to put it in there, and then we, the picnic area was kind of behind our trailer, which I thought was a little bit odd. And I noticed a number of them were like that. Now, if you had a motorhome, you could just pull it straight into the site, and that would work fine. White Domes Trail Head. White Domes is named after the impressive white peaks at the beginning of the trail on the way to the park's longest slot canyon. This trail is also home to the movie The Professionals, filmed in 1966, 
Remnants of the set can still be found along the trail. Let's take it very slowly. We can fit because we're in skinny legs. You guys are going to pick it up here. Oh, <laughs> well, you can get it. You? Okay. Let's say can fit. <laughs> Yeah, that was different. We just finished White Dunes Trail. What'd you think? Um, the first part of it was a little rocky. Uh, it was a little challenging to kind of go down it with the dogs and you know a camera in our hands and such but um, you had the right idea you just let the dog go yeah Zephyr is very good so I could let her go otherwise she'd be pulling me down the hill or the right. mountain but it was a I thought it was a really neat hike I mean yeah. it, it was very scenic and you had to get to go through that slot Canyon and then on the other side it's a little bit more open and gradually you know you come back up so you're not not a big climb on the way back Right, and we picked a very nice afternoon to take the hike. Yeah. And I think the dogs really enjoyed it. They don't seem to mind or have a hard time climbing on the rocks or on the stairs or, you know, whatever. They seem to love the climb. They Yeah, they seem to love it. Apparently, you know, four paws are better than two feet. Oh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep. If we didn't have already have enough things in our hands, we'd need a walking stick. Yeah, perhaps. Yep. Yeah. That would have probably made it a little bit easier. Yeah. But it wasn't too bad. And the uh, second half coming back to the parking lot was much easier. That's true. That's so. true. So recommend it if you're in this area. Right. If you're in the Valley of Fire, check right. out the uh, White Dunes Trail. Yep. <laughs> Seven sisters as your witnesses? Yeah. This grouping of rocks behind me is known as the Seven Sisters. There are seven large outcroppings of rocks in this area, and it's popular for weddings. Now you'll notice the holes in the rocks, that's caused by the ero erosion and it's an indication that in the next few hundred years these rocks will no longer be here. I'd feel bad about it, but I probably won't be here then either. 
the black patches that you see throughout the park on the Red Hills are called cryptobiotic soil. It's formed with minerals that promote plant life and help to hold the rocks together. And you don't want to disturb it because if you do, it will take approximately seven or as much as a couple hundred years to recreate. Well, we really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. Hit the bell for notifications. We post new videos on a weekly basis, and we'd love to have you follow along with us. If you have visited Valley of Fire and stayed in the state park, leave us a comment about what you liked about the park and the campground, or if there's something you didn't like, or any other suggestion, leave us a comment as well. Yeah, we'd love to hear from you. And until the next time, we will see you down the road. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.